Hello, welcome to brand new tutorial from AZF TV and today we are going to learn how to paint a face in Photoshop um, Okay, so today we will be working on this picture, we we'll try and put um, this Ghana flag onto piece hide picture that's a photo shoot Okay. Now for you to do this you need to get a photo shoot in which the subject is looking straight in the camera. Okay. So what I'll do is uh, quickly I'll duplicate this layer. I can right click on this, come to the layer panel, right click on this and click duplicate layer and click OK. Or if I want to use a shortcut I can press Ctrl J and also I get a duplicate of it. Okay. Okay. The next thing I'll do is to select the face. I want to paint the face, face, um, facing the camera. I want to select the face actually. So need to select the quick selection tool. Some people choose to use the polygon laser tool another tools but in this tutorial we're using the quick selection to make sure the selection is set at or set to the one with the plus not the minus then you click around the face okay. you just click around it to make the selection okay just need the face Now if you click uh, excessively, it said that there are some unwanted parts in the selection. You can hold Alt and click on it like this. It will cut in. If it descends into, you can click around it. Okay, let's hold Alt and click around this place too. Okay. There's a surface here, so I remove my hand from the alt and click on it to extend in. Okay, think it's quite cool. Okay, don't worry about getting raggy or raggy selection or something of that sort. Don't worry. Okay, so you click here, refine edge. Okay, you make sure the view is set at overlay V. Okay. Now uh, you hold your left click. What we are going to do is that uh, the edges are quite raggy, so you want to smoothen it a little bit to make it look appealing a little. Okay, so you hold your left click and move it around those raggy parts. Okay, do that till uh, you get a more smooth surface around it. Another one here. Another one over here. Okay. Around this part too. As you can see, now all the edges have been smoothing a little. Now you come to output to change the selection to layer marks and click OK. Okay. The next thing we are going to do is to we want to make before we can paint it accurately, we need to make our selection as a face like have a black and white surface, not a colored surface. So come to the create new fill adjustment layer panel or icon and click on it select black and white okay so there we go we change the picture to black and white okay actually you don't want the whole picture to be black and white you want just our selection so you come to the layer panel you click on this layer you select this layer max that you left click on it and drag it onto the black and white it says replace layer marks. Yes, 
So there you go. Only the face has been blackened. As the other side of the picture maintains its quality. Okay. So now we can go and pick up our Ghana flag and bring it in. So we'll go to file, open, search for the flag. Okay, there's my flag over here. Okay. So I'll select the move to left click and drag it onto this panel and leave it on the face. See, since the black and white is on top over here, that's the first thing in the layer panel. You have to put the flag on top. Okay. So the flag is not covering parts of the the cheek and the chin and other parts. So you hold or you press Control T. Control T. Then you extend it to cover all parts of. The area that we will be painting with the Ghana flag. Okay, then you select it. When we come to opacity, you reduce the opacity to let's say 40, 47 is cool, 50. Okay, then you are more. You select the eraser tool. Okay. You can keep the size around 30, 29. Select this. Okay. We want the eye to be revealed a little. The flag has quite covered it up. Okay. So there we go. Like the eyelashes too, the eyelid. So I'll review that portion too. Okay, we do the same thing for the right eye. Okay, so there we go. And this is what we are going to do. We will not leave it as such. We want the flag to enter the face, to be on the same level with the face. So you come here, select um, the black and white, then you duplicate it. You can right click on it, just click duplicate, or you can just, whilst it's being clicked on or selected, you can press Ctrl J. Now make sure you've selected the layer marks over here. Then you drag it onto the Ghana flag. Okay, once you see that rectangle around it, you leave it. Now look at what has happened. The whole thing has been changed to black and white. That's not what we want. Although the flag is in the face, but the surface has been changed to black and white. So you have to delete this layer. So right click on it, delete layer, yes, so this is what we want, the neck should be colored, but the face will be black and white so that our painting will be clear and valid on it, okay, so you select this layer panel, or layer, now we can increase our opacity back to 100%, okay, so, now we are going to work around the blending modes. We are going to tell Photoshop how we want the flag to lie on the skin. So, if you don't know much about blending modes, you can check the previous tutorial. You find a tutorial on blending mode and you get to know more about it. Okay, so you can work around it till you get a view that you want. So once I've selected normal, I can be moving the down key. This is how dissolve look like. Darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn, lighten, screen, color dodge, linear dodge, brighter color, overlay. Overlay is cool for me, so 
that's why I'll be taking okay so that's it this is how you paint a face in photoshop I hope you enjoy this tutorial hope you subscribe to this channel if you have any trouble with anything you can put it in the comment section it will be addressed okay so remember to subscribe to this channel see you next time bye bye